highly requested video here today. We're going to Atlantic Superstore. The weather's getting cooler. I want some comfort food. My girlfriend's no longer in Halifax, which I did not make her cook all the time. I didn't, I swear. Uh, but generally when I wanted comfort food, I would kindly ask her to make me something, often curry lentil soup. But this time, I have to, I'm responsible for my own comfort food, so I'm gonna make tortillere, which is like a, a French meat pie. So I'm gonna head up to the store, get the ingredients for that, and take you on a tour. So I'm heading to a bus stop on South Street. I'm gonna wait for the number seven, which will take me to the Atlantic Superstore on Barrington Street. So I just got off the bus and I'm ready to go to the Barrington Street Superstore. I'm gonna show you the outside and then we're gonna head on inside. I just wanna show you the whole thing, so I'm not gonna do too much talking. I want you to get a glimpse of it yourself. So this is pretty much the biggest, most accessible superstore in Halifax. As you can see, it is quite large. Beside it, you have the NSLC, which is the Nova Scotia Liquor Corporation. And if you continue looking over here, there's actually a pharmacy as well. So you have the pharmacy section. You can go ahead and get, uh, you know, your food. And then you can also go to the NSLC. It's October, so everyone's getting ready for Halloween. I'm going to go inside and grab a cart. So when you walk in through the entrance, there's a small kitchen there. You can pick up some food, get yourself like a chicken meal. It's around five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks. Pick up some salads. I like to come to the cheese section here and find the cheese that uh, either on sale or just something that I'm really craving. So these are your prices for cheeses. Um, you have a wide selection, clearly it's a large supermarket. I'm going to take you around, show you some more prices, let's grab the cart, I have a few ingredients to get. Dips, you can find some good dips here like hummus, tzatziki, uh, get your guac if you're a guac fan, and grab some crackers or something on the side. So there's a cake section. Fish market. You can grab your fish over here. Here are some prices of some of the fish. $6.99 for your Atlantic haddock, Atlantic ha halibut steak. So $24.99 a pound. So you can kind of see there's your yellowfin tuna over there if you're a tuna fan. And you have your salmon on sale for $9.99 a pound. That'll give you an idea of a sale price. So this aisle contains teas, coffees, and you know, some preserves. So you can have like peach slices or a whole bunch of stuff. So that's gonna give you an idea of some prices for cans and tubs. Single serve Keurig coffees if you have a machine. Very convenient if you're a student or an entrepreneur. Not very environmentally friendly and a little more expensive, but if you're into that, Frozen aisle for convenience foods. I'm looking specifically for puff pastries. So to give you guys an idea, this is about $40 of groceries. I picked up puff pastry, Wonder Bread, got some ground beef, two packets, plantain chips, got some eggs. I'm making a video, yeah. This video is super boring, who cares? Because they're gonna eat some good food. Here's about your grocery. Nobody cares. Williams Williams wearing blue light blocking glasses, so I call him blue light blocking gangster. He has a single scratch, right, right there in his glasses. Here, here. I'm telling him all the lights gonna go in through the glasses and make him blind. I'm gonna return this. Don't return it. That's that's OCD. So as I was saying, that's about 
You're looking at about $40 of groceries right there on the table. So that was Atlantic Superstore. I hope you got a glimpse of what the store is like, you know, the size and the general prices of not only the things in the main section when you're entering the store, but you know, kind of the fish prices, some packaged goods, what you can kind of expect. I also showed you towards the end my groceries what I was able to get for what amount of money. I did not buy the most expensive things, nor did I buy the cheapest things, but I generally search for things that are well or reasonably priced because why would you want to buy something that's terribly priced? So that's generally how far the dollar will take you going to the grocery store in Halifax. If you shop around, you deal search, you deal hunt as a student, uh, somebody moving here because I know a lot of you are asking me, you will be able to find cheaper, but this is generally what you get. We have like three uh, like a couple Atlantic Superstores, I I'm looking at grocery stores only, a Sobeys, um, I think we have another Atlantic Superstore, we have quite a few of those, but generally, unless you're going to Costco, these are your choices, so I hope I've given you a good idea of what it looks like. Drop your comments down below, what did you think about the grocery store prices, what did you think about, uh, you know, what do you think about Atlantic Superstore in Halifax? Let me know.